What a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. <laughs> Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie, but she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? <sniffs> um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. <sniffs> We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, oh, oh, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, Goody! That means there'll be muddy puddles! <laughs> George! Richard! You've knocked my house down! Please play something not bouncy! <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. We need some new clothes for George, please. <laughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <laughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. 
You see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No, but I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. Hmm, <coughs> I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm, this isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm, too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? <laughs> Away! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home! Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. It's a bit money. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello. Break down recovery. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> But it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. 
Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. <laughs> George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <laughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh. The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Hold tight. It 
It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. Are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy. We are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. <laughs> Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pyjamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. <laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh. I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George like stories. <laughs> when Peppa goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Pepper and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a Red Monkey. And this Red Monkey had a bath and cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed and soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, Red Monkey. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. It's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Yes, that's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles.
This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. Have you seen the queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No? No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. <laughs> Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend. Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Me. Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Mm. Everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Pepper's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Here you are, baby. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Yeah. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! 
<laughs> Alexandra likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Pepper's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Pepper. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. <laughs> oh, dear. It has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh! <laughs> They're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy. Look, the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh! Can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. 
Hmm. I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it. <laughs> I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Peppa, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I could reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see? It's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah, Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. Marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man 
a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music. It was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know, a muddy puddle. <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <gasps> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <laughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that 
smells very minty. <laughs> and this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. <laughs> wow, that's a strong smell of lavender. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Peppa's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. <coughs> and Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <coughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> You cried, you burped, <laughs> and you laughed. We were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Peppa. <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> Yes, you were in my tummy, George. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! <laughs> How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly Daddy! It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh! I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> What's that stick thing in the water? Ah! Submarine! Action stations! Ahoy there, me 
Lovely hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good un. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Have a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Pedro and Danny. Nay. Hey. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> come in, come in. Sorry, Danny. Only girls can come into the treehouse. Boys are a bit noisy. They always spoil the tea parties. But George and Richard are boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, George. This tree house is for girls only. What's wrong? The girls won't let us into the tree house. <coughs> it isn't fair. Ho oh, ho, I think I can help. Come over here. Now we can have a nice quiet tea party. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? There. Now you boys have your very own den with its very own drawbridge. <laughs> A castle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Can we come in? No. This is a boy's den for boys only. But I love castles. Castles aren't as good as tree houses. Come on, girls. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> Every castle needs a flag. Wow. They've got a flag. We don't need a silly flag. Here is Granny Pig. Hello, girls. Can I get you anything? A, a flag, flag, please. And it must be better than the boys' flag. I'll see what I can do. I'm the king of the castle. Ho, ho! Every castle needs a telephone. Hold this. Keep this string nice and tight and you can talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the boys. We don't want to talk to the girls. <laughs> Toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, 
all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink, 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 oink. And the piggies on the train go oink, 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 all day long. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> Pepper has found a little puddle. George has found a big puddle. <laughs> Look, George. There's a really big puddle. George wants to jump into the big puddle first. Stop, George. I must check if it's safe for you. Good. It is safe for you. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's only bad. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Come on, George. Let's go and show Daddy. Goodness me. Daddy, Daddy! Guess what we've been doing? Let me think. Have you been watching television? No, no, Daddy. Have you just had a bath? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> I know. You've been jumping in muddy puddles. Yes, yes, Daddy. We've been jumping in muddy puddles. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And look at the mess you're in. Ooh. Oh, well. It's only mud. Let's clean up quickly before Mummy sees the mess. Daddy, when we've cleaned up, Will you and Mummy come and play too? Yes, we could all play in the garden. You still play catch? That's a game for little children. Oh, we only play catch because George likes it. OK, let's play it for George. Do you play it with the proper rules or the baby rules? Proper rules. I'll start. <laughs> Pepper, you're it. Catch me if you can. Peppa is it. She has to chase Chloe and George. Can't catch me. <laughs> George, I'm going to easily catch you. You're so little. <laughs> That's not fair. You're helping George. That's because he's little. Do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I'm a big girl like you. Come on then, Peppa. Try and catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> Can't catch us. <laughs> this is a silly game. Can we play something else? OK. I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. Sly Fox? 
I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the Sly Fox and the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the Sly Fox. Pepper <laughs> is the Sly Fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Pepper turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <coughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Peppa and George must stay very still. <coughs> Peppa, I saw you move. Back to the start. <coughs> it's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. <coughs> Back to the start. <coughs> <coughs> George is the winner. <laughs> George, you must keep your hat on. Why? Because you must keep dry. Why? Because you might catch a cold. Why? George, do you want to play in the garden? <coughs> then keep your hat on. <coughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are going to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> George does not want to wear his rain hat. <laughs> George! Come inside. The rain's too heavy to play in now. Oh, George, where's your hat? Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ooh, that's disgusting! <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh. Because Dr. Brown Bear says so. Hello. Where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm. Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. George has caught a cold. First, dip the stick in the mixture. Then, take a big breath and blow. <gasps> Bubble! <laughs> George, now it's your turn. Dip the stick in the mixture. Hold it up. Take a big breath and blow. George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. Achoo! <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture, then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better if you run along. Wait for me. George is having fun making bubbles. And Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles. <laughs> oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. Mixture. 
Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> A bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. <laughs> then the soap. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Two. 